Hey folks, Brazilian Blades channel. Um, today we're going to do a custom review. Uh, we don't do a lot in English. I tried to do the custom reviews in English, always in English, so you guys also have access to information. But I, I do change some things because uh, a few of them, a few guys that we review are more famous outside in Brazil and vice versa. So we want to give you specialized information. This is a very special one. Um, you guys might recognize this symbol, GTC Knives. GTC Gus is a good friend. Um, he's a guy who really got me into custom tactical knives. And uh, I learned a lot of him. I still do. And I had the chance to visit him. And uh, the guy's awesome. Like, not only as maker, but as a person. So, this is the blade. It's a three finger folder. It's a bit of an older model. It doesn't have the famous flipper, flipper tab mechanism. It's, it doesn't have Timascus. It doesn't have Damascus. But I think in its simplicity, it shows really what workmanship and genius looks like. Check out that sound. I have no idea how, but it it rings kinda like a bell or a ninja sword from a movie now the blade it is full titanium and the blade is CPM 154 um, Gus really loves that steel and I have absolutely no complaints it's an amazing steel um, thing is this model is just perfect for EDC um, it was not this specific one but another one was my first flipper and my first custom knife and I couldn't be happier with it now check out how thin the grind is now, it, it, there are probably some razor blades who are actually thicker than this grind and it, it simply slices through everything and I think the grind is one of the reasons it does this singing sound now, the thing I really enjoy it is that um, it's simple. It doesn't have lot of, lots of bells and whistles, so I can EDC this one. And, of course, it's still an expensive knife. It's not a throwaway knife in any sense. It's still a full, custom, perfectly well-made knife. But, you can use it to cut stuff and not worry too much. Now, perfect lockup, early still, but rock solid. It rides on Gus bearing systems. Um, he was the first guy to use cage bearings, and uh, if you go to Jant and if you ask Emerson, he will tell you he was the first guy to do cage bearings, and that's fair. He's a man. And you know, um, I might sound too enthusiastic, but it, it really is easy to be enthusiastic about this knife. Now, the point being, why I like the simple stuff is that I think anybody can use Damascus and it will look fancy. Now, um, there are people who really bring it top notch, but it will look fancy, even if you don't have a lot of expertise. Now, to make a knife look elegant, high end, and yet utilitarian using plain titanium and good old CPM 154 that's that's mastery and I think that's what you get on Gus knives um, they are expensive in the secondary but if you manage to get on the lotto or sometimes you find good deals on Instagram sometimes you find good deals even on Arizona custom knives they had one of these for less than 1000 that was a steal like, I personally think this is closer to the one fifty to the fifteen hundred range, given the quality and like the fact that this is just amazing. Now, no fancy grinds, even though they're cool, but this one is just plain a plain laser blade. Like it cuts everything. Now, check it out. I could probably 
slice some Italian carpaccio with it. Like, it's just stupid. I've used it a few times, I've never sharpened it. And it's just terrific. Um, now, a lot of people might think, oh, CPM 154 for a for a custom knife, it's not that good, but if it's properly heat treated and well done, and I, I've seen in Gus's shop when I visited, he tests every single one of his blades for hardness. So you know that you're getting a knife that has had every single detail analyzed. Just perfect, you know, just perfect. Um, I Sometimes I like backspacers, but I think in this one, it just looks so clean with just the 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 pins and the open construction just like shines. Uh, it has an over travel extender, hidden clip, hidden screws in the clip, Gus proprietary hardware. You know, lots of small details that you just appreciate when you hold it or when you use it. Now, one of the nice thing is the flipper is almost completely integrated to the tab, to the to the finger coil, so it just looks smooth, nice, you know. So there's some orange peel for added texture, um, and it's one of my favorite knives ever. You can't go wrong. So, if you guys ever had the chance, GDC knives, Gus Sakini. You really, really ought to have one. And you really ought to talk with him. He's a great guy. He's an amazing guy. He's taught me a lot. And, you know, it's just one of those things where you, you're happy to have a knife that was made by such a nice dude. And he's an innovator and he keeps pushing stuff. He has now some crazy things. If you can't get a custom one, get the zero tolerance one. And you're going to have a, a also a fun experience. So... Enjoy, folks. See you next time with some more Brazilian Blades.